You know when you do something that you love for like a really long time and then you start realizing that like you just expect it to happen or you expect to do whatever it might be. I feel like I've gotten like complacent when it comes to speaking because it's just been such a routine of mine in a way for many, many years now. And there's random times where I think I get reminded of how blessed I am that I had this like idea to stand up for myself and hopefully stand up for other people. And then it happened on a scale that I could even fathom back then. And there's random times where it'll just like hit me and I'm super appreciative and really reminded of how great things can be even when they seem super horrible, as corny as that sounds. I was never taught to be a public speaker or how to be my own boss or, you know, all these things. I just, I wasn't taught how to do these things, but it was an idea I had and I taught myself how to do them. That of course involved a lot of other people who helped me along the way, but I just feel like I wanted to share this reminder that if there's something that you want to do or accomplish, but you don't know how you're going to do it, just like so many things in our life, we don't have an instruction manual of how to do certain things. And there's no step-by-step -step directions that will help you navigate through whatever it is you're wanting to do or on the path to do. And I just wanted to share this thought that I had because as I was getting ready before my speech earlier today, um, I was thinking about this and realized that if there's something you want to do or accomplish in your life, I think it's definitely possible. There's a will, there's a way. But at the same time, I think what really, really helped me and might have been my little secret thing to keep me going is knowing that I had this goal in mind and I knew it was going to be difficult, but I also knew I was going to do my best. And I don't think I really realized the importance of before you start something, telling yourself that you are going to be brave and have the courage to do all of these things. But I think it's also really important to remember that when you start something new, you don't need to just have courage for something scary. You need to have the courage if you fail and failing is not something that's bad and it's not something that should hold you back but it's something that you can use uh, to your advantage i just wanted to share that i was reminded today how blessed i am to do what i do and how you don't have to be a super wealthy person or know all of these people to make a difference or change the world you can do it if i could do it you can do it <laughs>